Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fairly Outdoors. Recently I bought myself uh, this fish finder here, the Garmin Striker 4. Um, I chose this one for a couple of reasons. Just because it's, it's uh, portable. Uh, I have a kayak, I have a boat, and I also want to take it ice fishing, which this thing has the capabilities of doing. It has chirp, uh, GPS, uh, sonar all built in, so this thing seemed to be the right fit for me. Um, with taking it out on the kayak and all that, I needed something, a battery that would be more portable. And so I did some research. I found some people that were uh, building their own. So what I came up with was building one out of an ammo can and some small 12 volt batteries. I bought myself two that would fit in there nicely. And uh, so this video, I'm going to be uh, going into the depth of how I built it myself. And uh, I'm not a professional, but this is how I did it. So stay tuned. All right, so let's go over some of the things that I bought for this project. Um, start off with the ammo can. This is just a your typical ammo can that I bought at a local hardware store. And then uh, I went with these two... Uh, batteries they are nice and cheap on Amazon I'll try and link everything below so if you're curious on where I got them most of this stuff was just purchased on Amazon and I'll have it linked below uh, and then I went and bought this this thing uh, I got a 12 volt uh, car battery or car, car charging port uh, I got some USB ports here for charging phones and cameras also got a voltmeter on there and I bought these, these two uh, banana ports for plugging in my GPS or anything else that I need to plug in there or fish finder. Uh, I went and bought a couple switches so that I can turn, and turn each thing on individually. And I bought a fuse, a fuse port so that I can uh, control how much amperage goes to certain things. And then these are the fuses that came with it. The tools we'll be needing are the hole saw, wire strippers and wire cutters, and crimpers. This here is the wire that I bought, it's just 16 gauge. Um, didn't have any red for the power, but I went with white and black. Should do the same thing for me. And last but not least, I have some connectors here. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mark out on the box where everything goes. So the way I'm gonna be laying this thing out is I'm gonna be putting uh, my USB ports here, my voltmeter here, and my 12 volt input here, and banana ports I'll be putting here with a switch here. I'll have a switch here for everything on this row here, and I'll have my main power on off switch here. Alright, so one thing that I want to do differently than almost everyone that I've seen online was um, because this thing's going to be on ice, 
when I go ice fishing, it's probably going to sit almost flat on the ice. I want to put a little bit of an insulation in between the floor and the battery just to keep the battery life lasting a little bit longer. So I, I had some of this stuff laying around, some aluminum uh, insulation, nice and thin, and I cut a piece off and stick it in there. Alright, so it fits nicely in there. And again, that's just to keep the batteries off the cold ice. Find that batteries on cold tend to not last as long as so. But I do want to make sure that this will close. Yep, seems like it does. Should be good to go. in there and as you can see we got power 12.6 volts 12.7 power switches off now on so if I switch this switch on it switches all three of these on if I switch these this switch on it switches all these these two on and that's my power pack. For the moment of truth, let's hook up the Garmin. Plugged it into the back. Take the positive. Just 
this off. First time you use these, you're going to need to loosen them off because when you tighten the nut, it tightens it real good on there. It'll only have to be the first time though. So, stick this in here. Tighten that down. Take the negative and tighten that down as well. So, now if we add power to here, add power to here, and this should turn on. And would you look at that? We got power to the Garmin. Well, I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, I, again, I'm not a professional, but... This was my first DIY project on here, and I, th I think it turned out pretty good. Give me a thumbs up uh, if you like it. Comment any uh, things that you might have done differently or that maybe I should change with it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.